In this video, we are going to learn about the trig functions, or in other words, the graphs of your trigonometric functions. Okay, so the first one we're going to have a look at is the graph y equals to sine x. And sketched here is the graph y equals to sine x. So what we are doing is we are plotting the output values of the sine of the various angles as a graph on the Cartesian plane. So you can see that at the point of 0 degrees, the sine of 0 degrees is 0. So we have a coordinate at 0 degrees and 0. It, gra the graph then has its maximum point at 90 degrees. So we have a point at 90 degrees and positive 1. Again, we have a point at 180 degrees and 0. And then at uh, 270 degrees and negative 1, which is over here. And then at 360 degrees and 0. Okay, and if we connect all those points with a smooth curve as is shown here, we get the graph of y is equal to sine x. Now, so y equals sine x is a continuous graph. It will continue to infinity, repeating the same pattern in that direction, and to infinity, repeating the same pattern in that direction. So, we say that we would need to sketch this graph for a given interval. So, the interval that we can see here is from negative 360 degrees to 360 degrees. Okay, and if you have a look at the graph, you can see that the pattern of the graph completes one full cycle of itself in 360 degrees. And we call that cycle of the graph the period. So the period of the sine graph is 360 degrees. And if you have a look at the basic uh, y equals sine x graph, you can see that it has its maximum point at 1 and its minimum point at negative 1. So it lies between 1 and negative 1. And we call this stretch, this vertical part of the graph, amplitude. Okay? And amplitude is basically equal to your maximum y, subtract your minimum y, divided by 2. So in this case it would be 1, subtract negative 1, divide by 2, and you would have an amplitude of 1. 2 divided by 2 is 1. So the basic sine graph has a period of 360 and an amplitude of positive 1. And then if we have a look at some of the negative values, I only focused on the positive values, you can see that there is a point at negative 90 and negative 1, at 180 and 0, negative 180 and 0, negative 270 and positive 1, and then again at negative 360 and 0. And if we connect those points, that is what generates the sine graph. If we take a look at the cos graph, y equals cos x, if we now plot the function values for 0 degrees, so the cos of 0 degrees is positive 1, the cos of 90 degrees is 0, the cos of 180 degrees is negative 1, the cos of 270 degrees is 0, and the cos of 360 degrees is positive 1. That will give us one cycle of the cos graph. You can see that that is one full cycle. When it gets back up to here at 360, it will begin the cycle again. So the cos graph also has a period of 360 degrees. And we can see that it also ranges from negative 1 to positive 1, so it has an amplitude of 1. Okay, so that is what the cos graph looks like. And on the negative side, the cos of negative 90 is 0, the cos of negative 180 is negative 1, the cos of negative 270 is 0, and the cos of negative 360 is 1. And you can see that the cos graph is symmetrical about the y-axis. So the values for y are, are symmetrical on either side. The graph y is equal to tan x is actually a discontinuous graph. So it doesn't have the same continuous flow that the sine and the cos graphs have. And because it is discontinuous, one of the reasons it's discontinuous is, is because it has asymptotes where the cos and the sine graphs do not have asymptotes. Okay, so if we have a look at the graph y equals tan x, the tan of 0 is 0, and the tan of 45 degrees 
is positive 1. So we have a point at 45 degrees and 1, and we have a point at negative 45 degrees and negative 1. If we connect those points with a smooth curve, the graph y equals tan x will look like that. Now, naturally, we are we would need to plot more points. The computer software has plotted the points for us so that we can see the shape of the graph. Now, we know from other trigonometry that you might have done that y equals to tan x when x is 90 degrees. The tan of 90 degrees is actually undefined. And that is why we have an asymptote at 90 degrees. And the periodicity of the tan graph is 180 degrees. You can see here between the asymptotes, because the tan of negative 90 degrees is also undefined. So between the asymptotes, we have a period of 180 degrees. So that means that the asymptotes will repeat themselves every 180 degrees. So we will have another one at 270, and we will have another one at negative 270, etc., etc. Okay, an amplitude of a trig graph, you can see that it is actually um, undefined because it carries on to infinity on both sides, so we don't have a defined amplitude for a tan graph.